It is estimated that about 22 veterans a day take their own lives. Many are burdened with the stigma associated with mental health issues and the military shame surrounding post-traumatic stress. They instead turn to suicide. Our next guest knows all too well how they feel. John Kelch is a local veteran who nearly took his own life. He and others are now working to help those who often suffer in silence. Welcome, John. Great to have you on the show. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your story with depression. You were in Vietnam, right? I'm a Vietnam combat veteran. Mm -hmm. uh, saw combat in the uh, second Tet Offensive and the third Offensive, uh, which I did not uh, get through. Had an argument with a grenade, which you always lose. Mm -hmm. uh, None of that was, a, was a, a bother to me, but the things that we uh, did for our country, the things that we saw and were involved in, uh, they change you. Yes. And uh, over time, it, it becomes very, very difficult to connect emotionally with other people. Mm -hmm. uh, nearly 25 years later, I uh, no longer could, could relate to people. Uh, I took my 45 in my hand and was intending to use it to end my life. I actually did that twice and both times in very close call I was distracted just enough to walk away from it. Mm -hmm. But what happens when you get to that point where you're willing to do that, mm -hmm. you're isolated. I was surrounded by family, friends, but you lots felt of alone. But you're isolated. Yes. And, and th that's where the problem is. We are looking right now at a video that you have created with some friends to help those veterans who are suffering right now, like you did. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me a little bit about the, this PSA, if you will, and why you decided to create it. Well, we, we uh, created it uh, for the National Veterans Creative Arts Festival, but the idea behind it is simply this. We have a lot of very good programs to help people uh, yeah, that have this situation. But when you're isolated, you, you just don't see them, right. you don't feel them. Right. So we wanted to create a video that we could play uh, on, uh, on TV, it's on, in hospitals, wherever, that will get the attention of those people. Mm -hmm. So in the middle of this video, we fire the 45 yeah. that I was in my hand at that right. time. And just that boom, I have your attention. If you're sitting there thinking of committing suicide, believe me, I have your attention. Yes. And from that point, we note to you that there's a lot of reasons that people do this. We understand them, we, we empathize and sympathize, mm -hmm. and help is available. And then we end with a, a, a message from me about my own experience and the saying, please don't leave us. Right. And then Dr. John Hollum, who did the, the video with me, tells you where you can get assistance. Okay. We don't have a lot of time, but I do want to just mention, what would you say to family and friends who may have a loved one that they're seeing that may, they are seeing the signs that they're depressed, that they're scared, that maybe they're going down this this rabbit hole, if you will, what uh, what signs should they look for? Well, under, understand the isolation, the emotional non-reaction. Mm -hmm. Understand that that's not you causing that. That's yes. within them, and and that you you have to find a way to reach out to them and say, it's better if you let the pain out. We can handle it. Right. We're with you. Maybe the uh, that veteran is pushing them away. Right. A little bit. Right. right. That that's it, that's it. That's a classic thing. I remember my, my uh, brother telling me, Mom keeps wanting to know what it is you want. And I said, as soon as I figure it out, I'll let her know. Yeah. Uh, the veteran themselves does not necessarily understand what they're going through. Mm -hmm. They just don't want to hurt other people, and they back away emotionally, and then uh, just contextually, they're not there. And you need to find a way to reach out to them. And typically, uh, the best way is if you can find someone who's been through it, who can, who who can, can relate, talk, and, can talk to you. relate and, and tell that right. veteran, I've got your back. Right. Because that's well, what's important about it. We appreciate you doing this, PSA. Mm -hmm. And if you want more information, if you have a loved one who you're concerned with, there is an 800 number that you can call, 1-800-273-8255. There's also a great website that I found very helpful. It's stopsoldiersuicide.org. So there is help available out there. John, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me, Natalie. Yeah. It's always fun.